the emotions on the court, I could go from really playing really good and then uh, after one point I miss and I will not be able to focus and lose the match, you know, and sometimes I had many matches, I had it in my hand and then I give to the opponent just because of one thing in my head. And it was not about tennis because sometimes you watch a tennis match and you think this girl is or this boy is better than him, but then you see the score and it's different. And I think mental is really, really important in tennis. And I think many people don't take it serious because you have to manage most of the time when you're on the court, it's the head because you, you play the, the rally for maybe a few shots, but then after the rally, what you do, you don't play tennis. You go to take a ball or you go to sit, you drink. And during all this time, if you don't have a plan in your head and you don't know what to do, then you, you are not truly on the tennis court. And it's, every time you do something, there is a purpose mentally. And um, that's why I thought, I think I don't have this enough because I arrive at a level, um, maybe 300, 250, 300, and I could not really go further. And I thought, I think the tennis skills is okay, but I think I need something more to work on. And fitness and tennis I was working on, so it was the mental. And then I contact uh, Stefano and I finally... <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, then I, told, I spoke a bit with him and see how he works 